this RAF video, I'm going to be explaining everything that you need to know about the trading post, as well as how to rank up the fastest way possible. I'm also going to be explaining and showing you what is the best resource to use and to put into the recycler, as well as testing on what is the best resource. So let's get started. In order for you to get to the trading post, you are going to need to look at your receiver and you're going to want to go towards the green little dots that are on there. Those are technically animal islands. However, depending on what code you put in, you may get a different or smaller version of that island. So for example, there are smaller versions of Balboa Island, Caravan Island, as well as uh, Temperance Island, the new island that was dropped, the ice one. So if you go to these islands, and this is the traditional, what I call the animal island, one of the starter ones that you go to, towards the very top or somewhere on those islands, because there's different models of each one, you will find the trading post. When you are on the animal islands, you want to go up to this shack right here that's playing music. This is the trading post. Go up to the cash register, press E to access the inventory, and by default, you're going to be in this particular setting here, which is buy and tier one. Let me explain this very carefully to you. First off, you have a buy, a sell option, tier one, tier two, and tier three. And on the right hand side, if you have never sold anything to them or bought anything from them, you will be at tier one, zero out of 300 reputation. I'll explain the reputation in just a moment. But first, let's look at the buy option for tier one because this is default. You have something called simple fishing bait. On the right hand side, you see that it says for simple fishing bait. So per transaction, so meaning if I buy it once, I will get four of these simple fishing baits. But notice that it has a stock. It has a stock of five, meaning that I cannot just sit here at the trading post and buy endless amounts of fishing bait. You have to go to island to Animal Island in order to restock the inventories, okay? You also see that this is the, this is what they want. This is the, the, uh, the, the money, basically, the trash cube. That's what we use. So we need to get trash cube in order to buy this from them. You also have plastic. You can have resources that you can buy. Please notice all of the stock as well as how much it gives you right here where my mouse is hovering, as well as the requirements, what you're using for the transaction. You have planks, scrap, but this is where it gets different because you have a trade coin. So trade coins are going to be something that we have to use within the system as well too. I will show you how to get all of this as well as trash cubes in just a moment. I'm just going through the different tiers. I'm going to go through them somewhat quickly. You can actually look at the, the cost over here on the right as well as how much is in stock for the tier one only. You have access to different recipes that you don't normally have access to in the world and different items that you don't have access to such as the air horn, the wardrobe, and the compass. Now let's talk about tier two you have something called an advanced fishing bait very similar to tier one you have a simple fishing bait while well, you have an advanced in tier two this is going to be important as well too one trash cube four it gives us per transaction but it does not tell us how much they have in stock for tier two because we have not unlocked tier two yet we're still in tier one so it won't tell us but look at all this that you can get you can get metal ore copper explosive goo cave mushrooms etc all down here and again there's you have access to things that you don't have access to by any other means other than the trading post you also have blueprints that are going to be very important for you to get you also have cosmetic items as well too, and that's all within tier two. So let's look at what you can get in tier three and why is it so valuable and important? Well, you have expert fishing bait in here, titanium, yes, titanium that you can buy from them, an advanced scarecrow, a fridge, draw bridges, surfboards, a cassette, which is playing the music that you guys are currently hearing now, a canteen. This thing is awesome, by the way. I do know about it, but I have not built it, obviously, myself. Detail plank, which is what we saw in the trailer, and some cosmetic stuff down there as well, too. So this is this. is This this is what we see with the buy section. So how do we rank up? Well, you have to sell. So let's click on sell, and let's go through this very carefully. In order for you to rank up your reputation, you need to sell these particular things, okay? Now, as a tier one, you're only going to be able to sell the glow shrimp and the net nibbler and the shark carp. So these three are the ones that you want to focus on. So do you see that when you sell them, your reward is one trade token plus 10 reputation. And all of these are the same for tier one. Now, if we click on the foam 
the foam spitter, it says tier two. So we can't even get this yet because we need access to the second tier bait. Does that make sense? So trade, you get one trade token for selling this and you get 100 reputation. But like I said, we don't have access to the foam spitter yet, the puffer, none of these. And you can see what the tier is. You can see what you get as your reward, etc. Let's go back up though to here. If you notice all of the tier ones give you a trade token, a trade coin, as well as 10 reputation. If we do math, if you do the math, well, you need 300 reputation to get to tier two. So if each one gives you 10 reputation, that is 30 fish that you need to give them. So 30 times 10 is 300. But here's the thing, if you only get four fishing bait and they have a stock of five, well, five times four is 20. Well, you actually have to go to a second island to buy more fishing bait if you actually get those fish every time you put that fishing bait on your hook. Now, in order for you to get the trash cube, which seems to be the resource that you need to trade with them to buy the things on there, you are going to need access to a recycler, which is what you guys see right here. These are the recyclers. Now, when you load into Raft, if you have done a specific amount of chapters, if you basically have gone past the radio tower, then you should automatically have this learned. The only thing that you will have to do is go over to a workbench and you will need to make sure that you have learned that particular item. So if you are loading into Raft for the first time in a while and you've already done the radio tower, just make sure that you click learn in the actual workbook and you'll have access to it. If you do not have this at all, and you're starting raft for the first time just as a heads up that the blueprint for the recycler is located at the radio tower at the very top next to tala one of the unlockable characters on the whiteboard in order for you to build the recycler you need to go into your inventory tab and go into the other which is the little box that's open right there goes down towards the bottom and you'll see the recycler which costs six plastic four metal ingots two bolts or two hinges and then one circuit board now, obviously, the more of these that you have built, the faster that this process is going to go along so that you can get more trash cubes, which is why I've built a fair few right here in front of me. But one thing else that you do need to be aware of for those of you that are doing this is that you must have a battery in order to power this. When you do want to use the recycler, walk up to its inventory and you'll notice that you have to put in raw materials. When you have something in your inventory on your hotbar and you want to try to put it in there, it says it requires raw materials. But when you can actually put something in there, it says place this item. So for example, since I have leather, it says, do you want to place leather in there? Now, I think that there is a discussion that needs to be had on what is the best thing to put in here because early on in game versus end game is going to look very differently. At the very end of this video, if you want to stick around for it, I'm actually going to do a ton of testing on what I would recommend is the best thing to put in here and I will be testing all the items in here. For right now, guys, I'm going to say this. I'm going to keep it as simple as I can. What you must do is put raw materials in each of the recyclers. If you have a lot of collection nets like I do on my raft, this is going to make this process so much faster. But keep in mind that you are going to be burning these resources and you will not get them back. You'll get them back in the form of the trash cube. So if you have a lot of collection nets, go around and collect all of the items that you have in there. Place all of the items on your hotbar and go up to it and press E to place in that item. Now, I do not have a battery inserted in here yet, so I'm just going to fill this up all the way. I do wish there was an option for me to be able to hold E to put all of the entire stack in here. There should be a way to do that, and if there is and I'm just missing it, please let me know in the comments below. But this takes a lot of resources, especially if you're using a particular type. But again, I'll go over what is the best thing to use at the very end of this. So let's just load up a couple of these real quick. After you've loaded all the trash recyclers and you've put a battery in each one of them, it will take anywhere between nine and a half to 12 minutes in real time for it to yield its maximum capacity of four trash cubes. So you're going to want to wait for a little while, which is why I recommended that you craft so many. Once it is finished, you can, you can grab it then or you can grab it in between the process. It doesn't matter, but it does take up to 12 minutes to get four trash cubes per process. 
Next, take those cubes back to the fishing post and what you need to do is go to buy tier one, click simple fishing bait and you need to buy all of everything that they have. And you will see that I have the achievement unlocked there because I've purchased something from them for the first time. But you need to buy the entire inventory stock that they have of the simple fishing bait in order to basically maximize your chance of getting to tier three faster. So if you have five trash cubes, buy the entire stock. Now you see that it's out of stock. Unfortunately, we have to go to another animal island. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I am not going to buy anything else from this place. What I'm going to do is take my fishing bait back to my raft. I'm going to go on there, go fishing, and I'm going to go towards another animal island to buy a little bit more of the fishing bait. Look at your receiver and look for a different green dot that you can make your way towards. And on the way towards that extra animal island pull out your metal fishing rod and i am going to be using a metal one for this just because i get 30 casts off of a metal and that's exactly how many fish i have to get in order for me to rank up to tier two so what you want to do is craft yourself at least for this entire process for you just to get to tier three you're going to need at least two metal fishing rods but in order to use it, all you have to do is pull it out. I have the bait on my hotbar that you can see there. I bought the maximum amount. You hold down right mouse button and there's your options that you have now. The regular hook that will just give you the regular stuff that you're used to from before in raft. But you want to hold down right mouse button and you need to click on that bait right there. The simple one. That's what we have. And you'll notice that there's a little wormy on the end of our hook. And all you have to do is just throw your line out just like normal. It doesn't matter if you clip it through the raft. It does not matter for this process, but just like any other time that you fished before if you haven't fished before it's simple You just cast your rod out and you wait for something to grab it Once something does grab the end of the line you click left mouse button and I should warn you right now Well, not really warn you just let you know that when you use bait you can only catch tier one fish so don't worry about catching any of the useless garbage because you're not going to catch any useless garbage when you use the bait so there i go i catch another one because i have 20 bait i'm going to get 20 of those fish so that's why i'm making my way towards the second animal island so that i can buy at least at least three more purchases think about it I get a total of four bait per purchase with a trash cube. And for me to rank up to tier two, I need 30 fish because each fish is worth 10 reputation. 10 times 30 is 300, which is the reputation I need. So I have to buy three, which unfortunately is going to give me 12, but it still works in my favor. My second island happened to be a smaller version of Balboa Island, which I thought was pretty cool. You can see all the fish that I caught on my hotbar, and I have a total of 20 tier 1 fish that I can now sell to them. So that's where you're defaulted at in the buy section. Remember that you do need to buy the fishing bait. Please buy three of them. So I have a total of three trash cubes on me. So buy three of the inventory stock. You're going to need at least the 12 in order for you to rank up to the tier 2. Then what you can do guys, instead of going back to your raft to fish, this is a little trick that I like to do, especially if I'm on a big island and I have nothing to do and I'm just running along. Did you know that you can actually equip your fishing rod and you can cast it over top of land and it'll still work? So that's what I'm going to do right here. So if you're curious why I'm casting right here, you can actually still catch fish with a fishing rod on regular land. It does work. I I caught a fish right there, tier one. So once I catch all of my 30 that I need, I am going to go ahead and sell that to them. On my hot bar, you can see that I have now caught the 30 tier one fish and now I can go up to the cash register of the trading post and start selling. So click the sell icon and you will notice that it tells me how much I actually have to sell to them. Make sure that you sell every single one of them. You'll see that on the right hand side that as I am selling each one of the fish, I am getting one trade coin. This is going to be very important because you do need trade coins for some of the newer items. In fact, pretty much every single one of the newer items that they have offered in the trading post. There we go. Achievement unlocked tier two. And all I had to do was go to two animal islands. Now do not leave. 
do not leave this island because now you've hit tier two technically you can buy the fishing bait off of this island here as long as you have the trash cubes to buy it so we now have the option to buy, to buy the advanced fishing bait which costs the same amount as the simple fishing bait do not buy the simple fishing bait please buy the advanced one after you've ranked up always buy the next rank of fishing bait so once you've gone back to your raft you need to take all five of the trash cubes go to advanced fishing bait and buy every single bit that they have in stock buy it until they are literally sold out now the next thing that we need to do is use that advanced fishing bait to then fish until we catch all 20 that we were able to get from them uh, just like before though the reputation is up to 3000 you will notice that we have 300 reputation and that carried over from tier one so to work this out each one of the tier two fish gives us 100 reputation so if you do the math on that that's actually 27 fish only that we need to get in order to rank up to tier three that is for every single tier two fish do not fish for any more tier one it's really not worth it because of the amount of reputation if you're trying to get to tier three as fast as you can then you need to be fishing for the tier two fish so 27 is what you need now because we only have 20 bait we have to go to another animal island which is our third and final island in order for us to reach tier three once you have gotten back on your raft go ahead and look at the receiver go towards another green dot and pull out your advanced fishing bait and start fishing and here you can see that i only pick up tier two fish just as a heads up that when you do use the advanced tier bait the tier two i should say you can only catch the tier two fish so you don't have to worry about catching lower tiers upon arriving at the third animal island in our final island you will notice that i have the 20 tier 2 fish on my hot bar but we still need more in order for us to rank up to tier 3 so let's go up to the cash register and because we need 27 fish we technically need two more purchases of the advanced fishing bait so we need at least two trash cubes for this so i'm going to go ahead and buy one and then i'm going to go ahead and buy two there we go and stay here at this island if you'd like you can stay here and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna fish for my other seven that I need in order for me to rank up to mastery so I'm just gonna stand here by the actual register itself because again you can fish through the actual ground it still works so once I get up to my 27 then I can go ahead and sell this and then I will be my max tier and I will get the achievement for reaching tier 3 and there you go I caught a tier three fish just there, just by standing right here. Now that I have all 27 on my hotbar, I can go ahead and start selling this. So access here, go to the sell tab up the top and go down to my foam spitter here. I'm gonna sell all of these. And again, each time I sell one of these tier two fish, I'm gonna get one trade coin and 100 reputation per. Same thing with the puffer, the puffer list and the trap snapper each one is going to give me one trade coin and 100 reputation and there you go achievement unlocked tier three so i've reached it that's how you get it done going to three islands now you do have tier three fish and if you click on those if you sell these you get two trade coins this is why guys you want to get to tier three as fast as you possibly can because now you can unlock the expert fishing bait and guess what it costs the same amount of trash cubes and it gives you the same amount but now we have access to a lot of good stuff in here but the expert fishing bait is what you are going to want to get and buy every time you come here five in stock and you get four per so when you sell those you get two trade coins that is why you want to get to tier three as fast as you possibly can because if you notice all of the new stuff that they have in the game costs a lot of trade coins so here's the other thing that i want to talk to you guys about i've gone ahead and i've worked it out i've worked out all the math on this if you want to buy the new stuff in game if you want to buy all of the new stuff from the actual trade post you will need exactly 135 trash cubes and then you will need 163 tokens and that's just buying the new stuff alone now that you have gotten all the way up to tier three I want to explain one thing to you you now have the option to buy but before I do anything or say anything else I just want to say this that 
In order for you to maximize your efforts to get to tier three the fastest way possible, do not buy anything out of any of the tiers until you've completely reached tier three. In total, you need exactly 15 trash cubes in order to reach tier three. So if you're trying to do this efficiently as possible, 15 cubes is all you need just to reach tier three, and you'll need a total of three animal islands if you maximize your efforts correctly. The other thing that I want to point out is that I've done the math for every single item that has been added into the whole trading post system. So hear me out when I say this. If you want to buy everything, and I mean absolutely everything, if you want to buy one of each item out of the trading post between tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3, and that is including resources as well as fish bait, you will need 153 trash cubes and that's for everything you will also need with the 153 trash cubes you will also need 173 of those tokens the trade coins now if you just want to buy the new stuff if you just want to buy only the new items that they've added in the game but you want to buy one of each and this is including the fish bait you will need exactly 135 trash cubes and you will need 163 trade coins Upon your completion though, of reaching all the way up to tier three, you will wind up with a total of 57 of your trade coins. So you've made a little bit of a dent in of itself, but the trash cubes are going to be a thing that you need to be stockpiling up on as well as the trade coins. And again, you will notice that the tier three fish will yield two coins and the tier one and the tier two fish will always yield one trade coin. So it's entirely up to you how you want to maximize your coins that you get. If you have a lot of items that you can shove into the recycler, then by all means, buy the tier one and the tier two bait. But in my honest opinion, if you're trying to save on resources as well as well, just resources in general, honestly, then you need to be buying the tier three bait. But since we are on the third island that we've reached at the end of this journey, so I, I said that you needed a total of three animal islands just to make sure that you gotten all the way up to tier three to be able to access and unlock this. But because we've reached tier three, we haven't bought any of the expert fishing bait. So again, this is a point where you should be stockpiling those trash cubes and buy all of this because if you get 20 bait, five times four is 20, and each fish that you sell gives you two coins per, then selling all 20 of those fish at this same animal island after you buy all of this is going to yield yourselves 40 coins so that's a good point to make as well too you just need to make sure that you have the materials to make the fishing rod as well as making the trash cube I'm a person that's very thorough and I like to test a lot of things in game and especially if it takes a lot of time it doesn't bother me at all because I like to maximize efforts and I like to show you guys what I find to be the best way possible to approach things. So for this last clip I actually went through every single resource that I could possibly think of and imagine that you could put into a recycler and I'm showing you my results. Now I'm not showing you the entire footage because that would be ours. However, I want to point out this that I've looked through every single bit of resource and everything that I'm showing you on the screen in a few moments is everything that I've tested and how much of each item that you have to put in the recycler in order to fill it to the maximum capacity. Remember when you fill it to the maximum capacity, you get four trash cubes. I was really shocked by the results. I tested everything in the game that you could possibly imagine from trophy heads to raw food to already pre-built items. I've tested a lot of stuff. I even tested buckets of milk, eggs, honeycomb, etc. But these were the only items that I could find and this is what I found. What you guys are looking at on the screen is everything that I have tested in the game. This is all the resources that you can put into a recycler. The number that you see right next to the actual item 
corresponds to how much you need to put into the recycler in order to fill it up to the maximum capacity, which will then yield four trash cubes. And I found so much interesting stuff here that it's absolutely insane. For example, eight titanium ore, so the raw ore for titanium, you could put that into a recycler, you could fill it up maximum capacity, you need eight of them to do it, and it'll yield four trash cubes. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, because titanium ore is one of the most coveted items, especially with all of these updates, like you need it for everything. Um, but here's the thing, uh, you should I would highly recommend that you pause this screen and actually look at everything that you put in there. Like, nobody in their right mind would ever want to use stone, because you need 200 stone just to fill up one singular recycler. And pressing E all that time is such a drain, and honestly, it's going to kill my keyboard. But one thing I want to point out, and this is my honest opinion, you guys are welcome to your own opinions on this, because you might have an excess of materials on your raft that you can u then use to recycle. But look at this, wool. No joke. Yes, you heard me correctly. Wool is the best thing that you can put into a recycler. As of right now, unless the developers decide to patch this, you only need eight wool to put into a recycler to yield four trash cubes. That's it. So hear me out when I say this. As you're going along to these animal islands, purposely catch as many llamas as you can, and then put them on your raft, make sure you have grass plots, make sure they're watered, and all you have to do is make shears. Guys, it only takes one metal ingot, I think, and like a hinge or something like that. There might be wood involved. It's not that expensive. When it comes down to the whole simple fact that you can basically have an infinite source of trash cubes by just having llamas on your raft, that's insane. Uh, there's other things that you could argue that are good, and yes, you are correct. Like, it kind of gives a use for the hinges and the bolts because, like most people, I have an excess amount on my raft just because. But you guys are more than welcome to your own opinions on this, but I would say wool is one of the best options. And the last thing that I just want to clarify is that it takes between 9.5 to 12 minutes, depending on the resource that you are using to recycle, to yield all four of the trash cubes. So between 9 to 12 minutes, roughly in real time, that you will be waiting to get this. And guys, that was my findings for testing out the recycler and walking you guys through on the trade post. I really do hope that this video was helpful for you. It took a long time to do. And if it was helpful for you, like and subscribe. It does mean a lot. Until then, I'll see you next time.